here today a whole basket of emotions. I, I am a bundle of emotions today. I'm feeling raw. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling devastated for the people I'm hearing from in the Carolinas, in Georgia, Tennessee, but especially North Carolina. North Carolina is in big trouble. Um, and I'm trying to phrase my words so carefully so as not to get myself in a whole lot of trouble. And I could get in trouble because I'm, I'm feeling that raw today. I'm feeling real, real agitated because I know that people I know and love who have been wiped out by Helene are listening to the to the to the to the, their own government tell them sorry no more help for you from the federal government the well is dry you're basically on your own and i am trying to stay calm and recognize that we're a month away from getting this disaster out of leadership do you want to go down the list of all the billions of dollars we're spending for illegals in the United States of America? I spend a good deal of my time in New York, a portion of my time in New York City. They have offered and given cash gift cards to illegals that total a heck of a lot more than $750 a person which is what Kamala promised yesterday when she chased Trump into the hurricane zone. Here's $750 as you've lost your home, your cars, maybe your loved ones. There are still people missing. The devastation is just beyond. And there's Kamala standing there chasing Trump. It's all it's about. She got shamed into going. Biden was on the beach this weekend, and she was in San Francisco. And that's a fact, Jack. And yesterday she said in Augusta, we're going to give you $750. On the same day that her Homeland Security chief, Mayorkas, confirmed that there's no more money coming because, well, FEMA's FEMA's out of money. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, We do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. Well, let's not tell the illegals that. Sorry, illegals. We don't have the funds anymore to put you in a $300 a night hotel room in New York City. We're not saying that. Sorry, illegals. We don't have the funds to pay for your health care and your kids' education. So We're not saying that. Sorry, illegals. We don't have the funds to give you cash gift cards and free cell phones and government assistance. We're not saying that. But to the people of North Carolina, we're saying you go pound salt. You're, you're on your own. I am so sickened, and I don't want to get down. I don't want to get despondent. I don't want to get um, overwhelmed, but I'm serious. If you're a Kamala Harris supporter, how could you possibly consider giving this woman a promotion? How could you possibly dream of putting these scoundrels back into office for four more years. It is time for the American people to rise up and say, this is garbage. I'm serious. I'm talking to the left, the most left-leaning listener I have right now. You justify to me how we're not going to assist the people of North Carolina and South Carolina and Georgia. We're not Florida. There's no more money for you. But there's plenty of money for 
migrants. I'll put it in the vernacular that you like. I'll, I'll put it in the term that you won't find offensive. The migrants who we continually fund. The, the, the unending funding we give to migrants is uninterrupted. But my orcas is, is telling you, North Carolina, forget it. We're done with you. Hey, Christian, you got to play it one more time for me, buddy. 21, one more time. We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. And when you hear the way the Biden Kamala administration has diverted funds earmarked for FEMA for illegals, you'll be as mad as I am. So I'm taking big deep breaths. It's Thursday. We're a little over a month away. We got a chance to fire these sorry scoundrels. I don't know if we will or not. I mean, according to the polling, it's anybody's guess. I can't believe that. I am shaken to the core because the country, I don't think, knows what people in North Carolina are going through. Our number is 800-655-MIKE. I always want to put your voice front and center. We're kicking things off on a Thursday. I don't like to start the hour angry. I don't like to wake up mad, but I am. wonder if you are too. Maybe not. Maybe you're, hey, K Kamala supporters, you can call me. You tell me how this is okay with you. I mean it. Democrats, tell me how this is all right with you. And, and I, I, I give you my word. I won't scream at you. I want you to lay it out for me. That it's okay to fund Ukraine. It's okay to fund illegals. But we don't have any more money for hurricane victims. We can't help our own. If you're not disgusted by this, I, I, I don't know what planet you're on. But let's find out. 800-655-MIKE, 800-655-6453. I hope you join us. Mike Gallagher. Here's a text message on the My Pillow text line from Houston. I am sick to my stomach that American citizens are suffering after this hurricane while illegals get free hotel rooms. Food, clothes, education, jobs, cash. Want more of this crap, America? Vote Harris in. Early voting has started. It's about to start all over the country. Pray for Trump. Houston's text completely sums up how I'm feeling right now. This report just released that FEMA has spent $640 million on illegal immigrants this year, for fiscal year 2024, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security has spent $640 million on illegal immigrants. These are funds, according to the government, and I'm just reading right from the Homeland Security website, to enable non-federal entitlements to provide income for services associated with non-citizen migrants. $640 million for migrants. And Majorca says no more money from FEMA. Oh, wait a minute. Kamala was in Georgia yesterday. Oh, there is, there's money. Oh, oh she's going to save the day. She chased Trump into Georgia and said... And the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750 for folks who need immediate needs being met, such as food, baby formula, and the like. And you can apply now for anyone who's watching this who has been affected. There are $750 for anybody, $750 one time if you've lost everything. We're going to give you seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's that's chump change to illegals with their cash gift cards. I just got a text message from South Carolina. Mike, I applied yesterday 
I've lost everything. I'm in upstate South Carolina. I'm a single dad. I applied for assistance from FEMA, and I was denied. I don't meet their requirements. They're lying. She's lying. Trump is in there with Elon trying to provide assistance, food, supplies, the Starlink technology so people have cell, that life-saving cell phone technology. I saw a cl- there's a clip on TikTok last night. This is a, uh, a National Guardsman in the state of Florida who says it all. I really don't want to make this video, but it is literally a matter of life and death for the people of North Carolina. So my name is Jonathan Howard. I'm a member of the Florida State Guard Special Missions Unit. And I'm also up here with Aerial Recovery, a nonprofit. I came up here on Sunday with Aerial Recovery before we even got activated. We flew up here and then we got activated, which was great. I had my team up here working as well. Here's the problem. I'm gonna tell you everything that's happening from the ground, what I'm actually seeing, because what they're telling you is complete bull on the news and these politicians don't have a clue and they're lying. They, they're lying, they don't have a clue. What's going on the ground is unthinkable. What's happening is unimaginable. And I would, I, I'm going to start with a, a lifelong Democrat, and I'm going to have a good faith. Hey, Charles in Columbus, Ohio, let's make this like a very well good-natured civil conversation. You're a lifelong Democrat. I, yes, I, I got to ask you, how can you support something like this? millions and millions going to illegals and there's no more money from the federal government for hurricane victims. Can you support this, Charles? I just no way. Man, look, I'm hurt. I mean, I just heard uh, one of our honored servicemen, the way he spoke, and it just ripped a hole through my heart. Me man. too. I Me can't too. support that. I mean, listen, as much as I still want to vote for them, they're going to have to do something significant. I mean, really significant, yep. man. I, yep. I don't know right now. The, con- the country's hurting right now, and we got to come <sighs> together. And I and I'm sorry with yeah. with a little month away from the election. I, I don't mean to put you on yeah. the spot. I can hear it in your heart. You're a great guy. We may not agree on a, on a lot politically, but I got to ask mm-hmm. you, as a fellow American, how can you vote for Kamala Harris? Oh, you gonna ask me that, man? I couldn't just based off. Oh man, I'm, I'm dude. You're it's through. everything in my life that I want to get up and go help them first. I just right now, I'm just undecided now. Now it's just wow. All right, Charles. I hope you become decided by election day, uh, and I hope you understand that there's one way to fix this. There is only we have only one recourse. There's only one chance. The time for for sitting around and whining and complaining it's gone. We we got it, it's hitting the road. The rubber's hitting the road right now, and they're doing everything they can to stop him. They're trying to kill him. They're trying to put him in jail. Jack Smith and Judge Chutkin. Oh, look, at that That report yesterday released, it was all the same crap regurgitated. There's nothing new in there. Jack Smith is trying to make the case that Trump violently inspired people to go riot on January 6th, and he did not. That is such a lie. Look, if Donald Trump said, you guys go riot, I want you to go riot. I want you to go burn the place down. You'd never hear me support this guy. But you know better. Jack Smith knows better. They're just trying to stop him because they want four more years of Biden and Harris. Greg's in uh, Ohio. Greg, you're on the Mike Gallagher Show. Hi. Hey, Mike, good morning. Hi. Go ahead, Greg. um, Mike, I I just wanted to follow up um, uh, on your topic this morning. Uh, uh, No no, uh, money for FEMA. Uh, and uh got to tell you, Mike, last night uh, the Lord woke me up uh, in the middle of the night with this topic specifically on my mind, Mike. Um, and a couple of the verses uh, that he brought out to me uh, last night uh, was uh, in the Bible where it talks about for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And then also a good man. Out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of an evil treasure brings forth uh, evil things. It's a good idea to remember our faith. It's a good idea to remember uh, what we believe in, because this is a time for prayer, but it's also a time for action. We better get engaged. You better be voting. You better be taking 10 people to the polls. We've got to win this thing on November 5th if we've got any hope for America. Thanks, sir. Appreciate your call.